Hey, YouTube. Well, y'all hear the latest. R. Kelly, now the feds got him. But I was taken back aback by one of the charges. It alleges that R. Kelly paid a minor $250,000 to return one of the tapes. Now, I'm sitting here thinking, I know this dude is not this stupid. Is not this sexually obsessed that he is actually trying to, to keep these sex tapes, these evidences of his crimes. Do you mean tell me that someone stole a, a tape? You would only hope this boy got enough sex. Well, most of us don't hope. They kind of want him to get caught. But if he pays somebody a half a million dollars, a quarter of a million dollars to get this tape back of him having sex with minors, people, you would think that he would take that and burn it on the spot. You would think that every tape, every piece of evidence, he does, he's not stupid enough to believe that hiding it in his safe or on one some property that he's renting is going to be safe. Why would he try to preserve such a thing? Don't you know these tapes could put you behind bars for the rest of your life? R. Kelly, <laughs> this is a person who is obsessed, sexually obsessed. The evidence of him having sex with all of these teenagers is more important to him than destroying the evidence that could put him away forever. It's absolutely crazy. So apparently this minor returned the tape for a quarter of a million dollars. She's lucky she got away because that, that kind of money that you've been playing with your life. But uh, when the feds come after you, the feds don't knock on your door. They kick the door off their hinges and they go right to your safe, right to all your personal places. And they go through the place with like a fine tooth comb. If anything is hidden anywhere, anything with your name on it, including sometimes your parents' house, they're going to find it. They're going to get it. It's the federal government. R. Kelly, we pretty much know that you just threw. Ain't no way in hell you're going to walk from all of these damn charges. It's like this, this billionaire they just caught. What's his name? I forget. Not important to me. His billionaire... They finally caught up with his ass. They can catch up with him. They can certainly catch up with you. Right? What am I talking about? Oh, I forget the details of that story. I forget even the guy's name. This billionaire dude who's also sexually perverted has a fetish about young girls. They just busted him and caught his ass. And he got connections going all the way up to the presidencies more than one and they still got him they got him on one of these bullshit deals where he walked uh basically walked on all these charges right one of these jesse spolette type things where he gets off mysteriously gets off a person who has a whole lot of money and he still then came back to haunt him now the dude that uh the dude that cut him this sweetheart deal he didn't lost his job he was a secretary of what? Secretary of Labor. He didn't lost his job because he cut this billionaire this deal where he basically walked. He got a uh, thirteen months in prison, and then he can be uh, free for six day, six out of seven days for twelve hours a day. Well, hell, you sleep eight hours a day, so basically he's free all the time. Anyway, so now they got Kelly, R. Kelly. If anybody. In the sound of my voice. No, I fuck that. I'm not giving you advice. I, I'm not saying that I'm on R. Kelly's side and he should get off of nothing like that. Please do not get it twisted. But I'm just saying, one would hope that you're not so stupid, that you are so sexually obsessed, that you want to keep these damn tapes, this evidence. The feds come, they're kicking that goddamn safe off its hinges. They can melt that damn thing if they want to, to get what they want. Don't you pay attention to the news, all these people who get caught by the feds? Don't you see how they don't give up and how they don't lose? <sighs> Only thing good come out of this thing for R. Kelly that uh, federal time is a whole lot easier than state time. But you're getting time, buddy. And if you got some stash of all these, you know, R. Kelly was obsessed not only with the sex, 
but with the recording of the sex. Because I remember even a Grammy award show, he brought the camcorder on the damn Grammys and he was filming that. They said he filmed everything. If he filmed everything, that means there must be hundreds, if not thousands of tapes somewhere. God, you would think this man would have burned those and melted them into something and buried it in there back in somebody else's yard. Somebody walked away with one tape. Where there's one, there is many. Anyway, that's the latest on uh, R. Kelly. The feds have got him now. He'll be there at least for the weekend so he can post another bail. Uh, he's got uh, His problems are unsolvable. And his representation, I wouldn't put a lot of... Uh, I think your guy is in over his head. He he is definitely in over his head. This guy that he's got representing him with the goat teeth and stuff like that. You need heavy hitters, uh, R. Kelly. So all the money you stash to try to hide, you need to use that and get yourself some real representation because you're going to need it. All right. Later, people.